Faraz Jaka, I've got a lot of history with. He's a very, very tricky player. I think I've generally come out uh, more on top for Daniel. So uh, let's plan for that streak to continue. People come up with like, this is the way you play him. Faraz is like, nope, I'm going to do it like that. He's definitely capable of pulling some ridiculous moves. Being aggressive in a cash game, in general, it's a little harder. And they can just call you and buy back in. But I, I think I would have an edge in this lineup. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my ass. But like nicely, not in a mean way, because I'm a nice guy. Okay, one more, uh, just for just for safety. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. I'll straddle, straddle. Atta girl, when you're not winning, gamble more. I can't call this. Charlie with ace 10 suited, he's bound to play this. So I tell you what, Joe, we're gonna play it from his perspective. We're gonna sweat with Charlie. I'll do it. He's raised to 325. Re-raise. Oh, you're getting some of the Faraz treatment. Yeah, I'm getting got. What happened here? Sometimes you can't, just get punished. Can't let him get two in a row. They wanted to have too much confidence. It's been folded. Back around to Charlie. How much you So, on the one hand, Faraz has been playing pretty snug. On the other hand, Charlie's been pretty active. On the other, other hand, Ace-10 suited can flop the nuts like four different ways. Charlie calls, heads up to the flop with more than 2,300 in the pot. Charlie has flopped top pair and a straight draw. I am all for checking to the razor. Check. Any C bet from Faraz? Be pretty weird if he didn't. 1,100. 1,100 euros. I think there's nothing we can really do here but call. Hope we have the best hand. Maybe improve to a straight. Charlie does call. <laughs> Turn card. There's the six of hearts. Puts a second flush draw out there. For us, bets again, 2,800. Same thing, different street. Charlie calls. We're going to the river with more than 10 grand in the pot. The river is the seven of spades. That puts a potential flush out there. And we've still got no choice but to check, see what Faraz does, and reevaluate. There's the check. Go, man. I have the best hand. Faraz moves all in. 7,705 euros. Other than when he got dressed today, Faraz hasn't gotten out of line all day. So if he is bluffing here, I say just let him. Oh, first triangle play. Yeah, they were hoping for an all in and call. I kind of hate to disappoint. You, can, you, you have the control here, Charlie. Yeah. What do you got? Don't let us all down. Got the, old, got the old ace ten of clubs. Mm. Yeah, the classic. It's going to take a uh, couple of minutes. Couple minutes? Couple of minutes. Charlie, this is a cash <laughs> game. <laughs> Man, he got no time for that. <laughs> Let's see, we got to see what got. He has to fly Charlie. out tonight. Like, what is this? Come on, <laughs> do. What's it going to be, Chucky? Oh, is this confident for us trying to look nervous? Is that what's going on? I feel like that's what's going on. Maybe. Yeah. I think Liv's been beckoned. Ah, oh, she's gonna check in with Maria. James, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know either. Sigh. Well, Liv has gone to talk to Maria on the floor. There's a big hand going on right now. Yeah. The first all in so far. Faraz against Charlie. Uh huh. What's your read on the situation right now? Knowing Faraz, he just 
probably doesn't have it. Um, but I can see Charlie's predicament. He definitely has, you know, doesn't, there's no clubs out there. He's not blocking any flushes. I don't know. Is it weird I thought Charlie should fold before Liv just let me know there's a flush out there? All right. I'm going to go for it. Bluff. Uh. Value bet. <laughs> Smile to value bet. That's, that's good news. What is he doing? The Charlie breakdown Bluff. of personnel is the funniest Bluff. thing to Bluff. watch. Bluff. 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 Oh, that's interesting. Bluff. Oh, it looks so dumb when you're wrong. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. You don't have a boyfriend. Bluff. Charlie calls. Faraz has got it. Oh, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Charlie. Way to break that down. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what's going on. So did all that stuff help or hurt no, by no, the no, end no, of it? It's, 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 all, great, it's, all, it's all the same. It's a great breakdown. And, uh, <laughs> Charlie is very good at reading people. That's, uh, that's all just... <laughs> everybody watching, I want you to understand the one person that you should not try to bluff is Charlie because he's going to break down every thought that you may have. And Rats. There's a chance he could be wrong. Wrong at yeah. the end. Sometimes, sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes you're wrong. <laughs> People are laughing at Charlie, but how about a little credit for Faraz, my baby? He's like a boss. Yeah, he doubles up, and Charlie is stuck again. I think that if Faraz were going to choose someone to clash with at the table, it probably wouldn't have been me. You're getting some of the Faraz treatment. No, yeah. I'm getting got. I think both me and Charlie like to try to run over the table. We like to build up a big stack. We like to have this crazy image and then get paid off. He is one of the people I actually really struggled to get reads on. Genuinely against anyone else at the table, I would have been able to make that read. Is this confident for us trying to look nervous? No one staring me down it affects me at all. It's just fun for me. It's funny kind of hearing him like go through the process of trying to get a read off me. Blah. And you know, I'm just sitting there just being entertained. Oh, he got me. I think it was really well played by Faraz. <laughs> what would you have done to try to get a read off Faraz? Best answers make our podcast. Tag your tweets. Well, after that hand, Faraz is the biggest winner, and Charlie is down nearly 10K. Kevin and Liv are also down. Daniel's roughly even. Mila, the challenger, is doing well. She's up five and a half grand. Remember, she only gets to keep any profit she makes in the game. So we are playing 150 hands of Hold'em. 35 hands have been completed so far. The game is pot limit pre-flop, no limit post-flop, with blinds of 25 euros and 50 euros and a 10 euro ante. Players can add on or reload at any time up to a maximum of 25,000 euros. Hand 48 of 150. Liv has raised with ace king. Faraz has defended his big blind with jack eight. Liv's got a chance to win some back here with big slick in position. You know I coined the term big slick back in 2014? You're a genius. I know. Here comes the flop. Oh, wow. Trips for Faraz. The flush draw for Liv. I'm going to call this matchup big sick. Action goes check, check. Deuce on the turn. That's a full house for Faraz. Live, dead. Faraz checks a second time. And Liv checks behind again. Still no betting. Worst thing for her would be a spade. It's a heart. She shouldn't lose too much then. Faraz? Check, still playing it slow. Will Liv just check behind? Take the showdown value of her ace high? Oh, she bets 500. I don't know if she's expecting to fold out better or to get called by worse, but I do know that neither of those things is going to happen. That is a raise to 2,000. She has put herself in a spot. And she quickly calls. For us, tables his boat. Just a full house. <laughs> it stings. 
Oh god, we gotta live. See, I've been oh, doing it wrong. I, I tried so bluffing the calling now. station. Oh, I tried god. calling the guy that always has it. I got it completely mixed oh, up. Oh my god. This downward spiral is going out of control. I gotta get some. <laughs> gotta get out of here. I gotta get some. Oh, I gotta get some. I played that hand so badly. Mm, yeah. Faraz, he's definitely capable of pulling some ridiculous moves. And seems everybody's bluffing me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bluffed her. I'm gonna get bluffed by you, I'm gonna get bluffed by you. Liv's in a tough spot where she, she was a little suspicious about whether Faraz was bluffing her. Slightly surprised she called, but um, you know, I think she just expected me to be going for it, so yeah. I mean, the great thing about Cash is that you, you really get to build up quite a lot of dynamics with players. It's not going that well for me, but it's, it's a lot of fun. All right, all right, get the game out of the muck. Let's get it out of the muck. I want to make it seven. Let's get the game out of the muck. Out of the muck. Out of the muck. Faraz is in. He said out of the muck. Yeah, get it out of the muck. Just listening to uh, orders. There we go. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at, what are you trying to, tell me what you want to know so I can just tell you. There are no tells. Tell me what you want. So three players in this pot. The flop gives Kevin the best hand, but Faraz has the most equity. He has not flopped terrible. It's bullshit, and you know it's bullshit. <laughs> You're full of <laughs> I don't care. 13. Faraz, you're full of <laughs> too, which is nice socks. <laughs> so sick of your <laughs> too. Time to hit him with some of the old Farazzle Dazzle. 3,900? Oh, no, wait. I thought it said 10,000. 39? Liv has folded. It's almost as if that conversation about the app has reminded Kevin of how much money he's got. Are you saying this call would be loose? Yes. One, two, three. Five. Pew. Four, four. Pew. Raz, I'm only gonna say this one time. Be careful. Oh, was that? Okay. Be careful. I do like Faraz's raise. The turn card is another three trips for Kevin, and just like that, he's a four to one favorite. I really hated Faraz's raise. <laughs> what is that? He said be careful. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. You didn't make up your mind. Love to see a bet here from Kevin. 6,000. Well done. What the? Aww. No. <laughs> that good? God damn it. You got a full house? What are you doing? What are you doing, <laughs> dude? What are you doing, man? Hand 86. I'm going to fold that. Because I don't like this right here. This heavy attitude coming from my <laughs> self esteem. What did he do? 100? Uh, four. Daniel raising with King Jack suited. Two formidable hands. Faraz calls. Heads up to the flop. All right. I'm going to give you three in the dark. Daniel betting before he knows what the flop actually is. That's crazy. Jack nine deuce. A top pair for Daniel. Faraz with an open-ended straight draw. Remember, Daniel's already bet. Faraz raises to 1,100. And Daniel cannot and will not fold top pair. In. You called it. The jacks always scare me, because Jacka Jack is in the pot. The turn card? It's the ace of hearts. 50. Faraz now has a flush draw. 50 bucks, right. bud. Do you see this move? This is like so high level. Yeah, I, I'm... Call the raise, bet 50, look. 
<laughs> Free. <laughs> the river is the seven of hearts. Faraz has made his flush. Five. That's going to get raised. Backed his way right into it. 4,200. What is he doing to me right now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking all that I know, right? Mm -hmm. Now he got to throw got right back mm -hmm. in my face. Mm -hmm. This is just... Hey, he's not playing games. This is not a joke. So you might have 810. That would be a straight. I can't beat that. You may have... Well, which... What hearts... What kind of heart flush could you have? You want to show me one card? I'll pay 50 bucks for it. <laughs> 50 bucks for one card? You got a heart right here. Huh? So you won. No, but I mean, I'll, I'll pay you 100 bucks to see one card. Pay 4,200 to see both. Yeah! <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> that seemed like a good deal, 100 bucks. Free $100 for the man. Nice try, Negranu. Man, oh man, oh man. What are you doing there, Faraz? He's a tricky one, this one. Tricky, tricky. Do you think, I don't know if he's, I think he might be screwing around. He, he's known. He's, he's well known to do that. 42, I bet five, making 42. Coming with the heat, huh? Faraz has dined out on the Maniac rep for years, but we haven't seen that at this table. He also has a reputation for making flushes, hence his online nickname, The Toilet. <laughs> well, man, if I had a pair though, this would be so much easier. <laughs> Daniel's rarely going to be up against a better pair or two pair. It's going to be straights and flushes or an air ball. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know. Phone a friend. What do you think? Ah, you can't say. <laughs> you know the rules. You think he's bluffing? No? All right, I'll hold. <laughs> trust her. I'll trust her. She knows better than me. Nice, Adam. And? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Now she's not sure. Uh, now you're not sure? Uh, no, <laughs> you're not, you were I'm sure not, before. I'm sure that he was not bluffing, but I saw his smile. Now his reaction, that. and he looks like he's bluffing? He was That's like, part of the mm, plan. So. <laughs> okay. Is it my straddle? You guys yeah. worked together on that one. <laughs> well, it, you know, it's a cash game, so it's a lot of fun. I asked Mila for some advice, and then she gave me advice and said fold, and I was like, okay, I'll trust you. When Daniel asked me for advice, it was such a great moment. I was a little bit nervous because he's one of the biggest players in the world. But I trusted her. She seemed to have a read on him, and I'm thankful that uh, she sent me down the right path. <laughs> it was awesome for me because Daniel said to me, you did a great job. I win. Good hand, my friend. On to hand number 87, and Kevin has straddled. <laughs> a lot of disappointment. You're going to walk away saying, I'll tell you what, he can act. <laughs> Faraz has deuces. He raises. Mm. Getting aggressive down there. Mm hmm. Wouldn't take $100 show a card. I should ask you after the hand's over, too. I've never walked away. I would have been willing to negotiate after the hand. Yeah. I ain't gonna walk away from him. Like in a, in a fight, if somebody gets crazy aggressive, I'm like, all right, if that's how you want to take it, then that's what we're going to do. And right now, I feel like you're just being aggressive. So I'm not going to walk away. I'm going to, let's, all right, I guess we got to fight. Maybe Kevin's running so hot because he's friends with Usain Bolt. Look it up. These two going heads up to the flop. Kevin takes the lead with second pair. You tell me what you want to know when you look at me, I can tell you. I'm wondering why we just keep getting these same boring flops every time. Oh, God. Every single time. Oh, he's in my head. Check. He's in my head. Check. Did you see what he just did there? Every time, though. And then we just keep doing this. this we, just keep, we just keep doing the same thing. sucker me. We just keep doing the same thing. No, this is, you're full of You're full of And I smell it. Again, nickname Toilet. Both players check. We're heading to the turn. Which is a deuce. Faraz turns a set. Sorry. Check. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. And Kevin has a diamond draw. You're right. I was full of I want to check the flop. This is great. It's so full of man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. <laughs> the river 
Gives Kevin the flush. Run better, Kevin. Time. Time. You checked too? <laughs> oh, God. There's a fake check. So you already knew. I wanted you to think I already knew. That's why I told you that. Kevin bets a thousand. God, that river sucks. <laughs> Faraz has flipped over his cards. Like quite a hand. You can't lay a set down. He's got a set. It's tough. He's God. debating we should call or not. Stupid river. I can't win, right? I'm just saying it's tough. He's got can't a set. Can't win with that, right? He got a set. Let me show you one. Sure. Go, come on. You said you're an honest man. I am. That's what I said you want me to. You tell me what. I said, you want me to, and I was trying to get an answer. Let me see, hold on. I can show you one. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> wow. wow. Liv wants to see, and so do I. He flipped over the seven. <laughs> <laughs> For us, folks. Wow. You want to see the other one? Yeah, sure. sure. Show me, show me. Show me. <laughs> I, it is, I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah, okay. The king, the uh -huh. diamond. Too much. A jack of diamonds. Definitely neither. The Ashton check, check, check cool. What? The Ashton check, check, check cool. Little bet raise. Check, check, check. You should have been here. Bet Stop trying to get information. Like you should have been here. Oh. It's another pot that I'm stacking up in my stack. <laughs> it's another pot that I'm stacking up onto my stack. Kevin, give Faraz some credit. He nailed it. King of diamonds. With roughly 60 hands still to play, Kevin is the big winner at the table. Daniel and Faraz also in profit. Amila is now free rolling. She'll keep whatever she's left with at the end of the session. Charlie is still stuck. The better part of 25 grand. Next time on the Cash Challenge. Charlie's gonna do something crazy. <sighs> Have a good hand. We have an all in. Run it twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a pot. Sign him up. He's got the what? Oh, no. Same twice. Wait, what's, what's going on? What's going on? Wait, let's slow it down. Wait for this. Oh!